King News, my wonderful people, the Fulani, Sake Fulani in Edo State is raising fire and brimstone, reissuing a threat. And it says, vigilantes in Edo State are raiding the forest, chasing away headsmen and um, their cows, that if they don't stop her, Edo State will be too hot for everybody. Recently, the activities of you know, Fulani headsmen, kidnapping and the rest going on has been uh, unimaginable in Edo State. Okay, it's been it's been it's been a, 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 an alarming rate in Edo State, and so vigilantes are going around in the forest, ensuring that those who are using the forest as a hideout. Okay, sadly, Fulani headsmen and their cows. That's where they also reside, and uh, we've gotten situations where we see the Fulani headsmen, we see them and their people, you know, committing all forms of crime and atrocities. All the uh, what's it called now? Kidnapping in Nigeria. If you want to count them, uh, if there are nine, if there are hundred of them, ninety to a large extent are done by these people. So this brings, you know, brings suspicion. And so the Saki Fulani is saying, if the governor does not stop the vigilante from, you know, raiding the forest, they will ra they will unleash terror in Edo State. Let's get all the details. Vigilantes are raiding the forest, chasing heads Fulani headsmen and their cows away. Saki Fulani alleges, if this is not stop, hmm, Saki Fulani in Edo State, Mohammed Sosia has alleged that operatives of several vigilante groups are raiding the forest and chasing Fulani headsmen and their cows away from their camps. According to a report published by Daily Trust, he told journalists that they have lived peacefully in the state for over 50 years. And if they no, are no longer welcome, the government should let Fulani leaders in the community know before they take any decision so we can prepare to leave. But we have stayed here over 50 years. This has become our land and our place. While speaking with journalists, he alleged that the vigilante that was set up by the state government st stated that there is an order from the state government for them to vacate, the, for Fulani headsmen in the forest to vacate the state as insecurity continues to rise. He added that the Fulani people aren't responsible for the attack and the killings and the adoptions going on in the state and that the, that the state, uh, those state people should look elsewhere and check inwards that if this attack on them continues they will have to take drastic measures and actions if the government is making a decision with regards to them he should let them know rather than send vigilantes to go and disturb their people in the forest who are carrying about their businesses and looking after their cattle we will not take this anymore we employ the governor to come on board and to speak to us and to have discussions with us rather than they take decisions without our knowledge without us knowing say they will have to take drastic action. However, the police command in Edo State made it clear that they, that, they, that they aren't aware of the attack on cows. The command, the commander spokesman, Chidi, said they received no complaints about alleged attack on Fulani headsmen, but he knows about the order to move criminal elements out of the forest issued by the governor. I mean, if you if you if you've been if you are living in the Edo metropolis metropolitan area or you live in Edo state, you will understand what is going on. Very recently, the attack has increased in no small way. I can assure you, in no small way. People are being attacked and a lot is going on, you know, kidnapping, a lot of things, terrible things have been going on in those areas, in those routes. And the people are wondering, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? I mean, the complaint has been so much that Obaseki had no choice. Initially, he didn't want to sign the anti-grazing law that uh, Fulani headsmen should not be seen in town. Initially, he said, if he signs, how is he going to implement it? But we are wondering, you are the governor employ people don't you have a location from the state government employ people to make sure that um, things are done well employ people to ensure that you know things are you know, what's supposed to be is is the right thing that is being done well uh, the, uh, when he saw that the thing was increasing and the, and the lamentation from the people continued he had no choice but to sign it upon signing even even you know signing it the people still continue to you know to carry out their wicked activities because you know by now most of the state in the south has already signed yes most of the state from the south has already signed and so those that are running from the south uh, uh, those state became the venue those that were running from um, on those state from Ekiti state uh, those state became the venue because then 
it was a free hub, okay, where there is no law, there is no sin. So nobody is at fault, you know. So when he saw that, they began to he began to you know put things in place. And right about now, he has gone to say, you know what, all the uh, criminal elements in the forest should be raided and the Fulanis are crying out that they are the ones so they are the target so oh they are raiding them or uh, if the governor does not want them in the state they have lived in the state over 50 years now if the governor does you have a discussion with them rather than deceitfully or sign lining them and going to uh, the forest to 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 begin to root their people off their their places and they will not take this anymore uh this is not going down well with them blah 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 well these are things that have been going on in Edo State for some time. If you understand the insecurity, I mean, it's not just in Edo State, too, but you know, so they've gone to complain to the police, and the police said, Yes, we are aware. The governor said they want to get rid of every criminal element that have taken their, their, their domain, okay, or their resting place now in you know in the forest we are sending them out you know that's what the police told them he said but the truth of it is that we are not going to sit back and allow okay some people to begin to destroy the state so governor Godin Obaseki has put down his feet in those regards and the Fulanis are saying no our people must return to the forest how do you want the place to, what do you want Obaseki to do your people must return to the forest yes so what will happen to I mean how do you differentiate because you guys are not helping you're not helping at all. How do we differentiate? How do we know the right from the wrong? How do we know the people who are truly the right ones that, you know, that are not criminals? Because where, where, where there is darkness, you know that, uh, you know, people take advantage of it and they begin to do evil. You say, don't turn on the lights because I'm sensitive to light. And it's only light that can really repair darkness so that people can be peaceful. Well, my wonderful people, these are what we are facing. Uh, the full and is now have become a point where everybody must you know must must dance to their tune or there will be issues these are some of the things we are facing as nigerians these are some of the devastation going on lives and property are being threatened and yet they say be quiet say nothing they say be quiet say nothing eh and those state now they put out thank god the governor has put out vigilantes to say you know what let's end this reign of terror that has been going on and yet the people are arguing no you cannot end it to Ah, you can't end it all, blah, 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 blah. You see, this is why every one of us, okay, we have a duty to ensure we speak out. We have a duty to ensure we do not allow manipulation that has been holding us back in this nation for a while. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.